What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Ron and this is MotorTube and today we are headed to the dealership to check on my C8 that I ordered about a month and a half ago. There's a little bit of delay with that which I will explain later on in the video but before we do that I'm gonna do something that I shouldn't have to because people that are supporters of mine should never doubt me. But since everybody, you know, wants to run their mouth, all the haters, you know, wanna assume stuff and spread lies and just start, you know, rumors about the red eye, well, we're gonna shut all those rumors down right away in this video. And I felt offended that I had to prove myself to you guys, but it's okay. There's a lot of doubters out there. I mean, there's people that doubt themselves every day. So, I mean, I'm not surprised that they doubt me. So, it's all good. What we're going to do right now is we're going to turn the red eye on, okay? So, I know you guys have been waiting for that. But before we do that, I'll see you guys back after the commercial. Let's turn her on. So there you guys go, but now I think we should start the Mustang just in case there might be something wrong with it. You know, I wanna make sure there's nothing wrong with it. So let's start that one up too. We're gonna close the garage, um, but but we, we, still, we still have one more thing to do. We still, I almost forgot. Let's turn on the Ram just in case there might be something wrong with the Ram. So let's turn that on, just, just to make sure there's absolutely nothing wrong with the Ram. You know, something might, I don't know, something could be wrong with it. But let's just make sure, just, just to be sure. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, yeah, the, the Ram sounds pretty good. So I think there's nothing wrong with the Ram. We've pretty much checked off all three cars. Uh, we're good. I appreciate everybody that has been concerned. I appreciate, I highly appreciate all the exposure everybody has been giving me. And it means so much to me that everybody's concerned about me and my cars. It means a lot to me. Like, honestly, like it means a lot to me. I'm not mad at anyone just because it's a great feeling when you have everybody worried about you and I appreciate it and we're doing good. So thank you for your concern. But what's going to go down is the car is going to basically be put away for winter, honestly, which is why I haven't driven it as much just because it's been snowing out it's 30 degrees there's absolutely no reason to drive a car that fast in the winter it's it's pointless so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it away one thing i got to do though since the car is on e85 is we have to drain the entire gas tank because it's on e85 and you don't want to let e85 sit during the winter so we're going to have to drain the e85 tank and they, basically i'm going to cover it up and we're just going to leave it in the garage honestly for for the winter because it's just too fast of a car i won't even be able to hook it's just pointless to drive it so that's why i had to start it up one last time for you guys and now the car is going to get put away until basically springtime but now that we got that out the way let's head to the dealership to check on the C8. So before we get to the dealership, I wanna tell you guys the bad news with the C8. I ordered it like a month and a half ago and then the GM employees went on strike, which caused basically all the production to stop. I was supposed to get the car I think February or March and they don't even start production until February now. So I'm thinking like maybe get it April. I don't know, that's why I'm going to the dealership right now. All right, we are coming up on the Chevy dealership. I got a Mustang up front for sale. Look at that right there. All right. So it's time to go in there. We got my cousin here. What up, baby? What up, baby? What's happening? I know there's bad news, right? The production? Yeah. Until February? Yep. Is they're that still, because of the strike? They're, yeah, the strike pushed things back, but they're still uh, picking up orders. Oh, they're still doing that? Mm-hmm. What, they didn't make enough money? What's going on? They're gonna flood the whole market with these mother... No, All right, no then, they're then. sold out. They're sold out. No one, you know. Whoever ordered them is the only oh. one's gonna get them. Oh, you mean they're picking up orders as in they're starting them? Yes. Oh, I thought you meant like they're still taking orders. Mm -mm. No, 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 they're... Okay. So if you got them, it's, you're good now, right? Yep. Yeah, let me see that screensaver. Oh boy, look at that. Sheesh. That's this boy's car. I still haven't seen your truck in person. Really? Yeah. So, okay. They won't start production until February? Correct. And it wouldn't give you an estimate of when it'll get done on the computer? Nope. But I'm thinking April, right? Like two months? Maybe more, you think? No, it takes eight to 12 weeks. So we're talking like maybe March? Late spring. Jeez. Because it was early spring, supposedly. Yeah. Originally. Strike push things back. So and now, like, late spring. like maybe like, well, what March? 
Or not March, I mean uh, May. Jeez. April, May. I mean, it's good, perfect time, I guess, for the summer. Mm -hmm. You heard it. I was actually wrong. It actually won't get here until like March. So we're gonna steal his keys. Here is the truck. Z71 package. It's in blue, by the way. So blacked out wheels. Pretty much everything is blacked out. Let me show you guys the front. Look at the lights. Well, they're not turning on, but you got the little tow hooks. Let's check out back. Trail boss. One thing I like about these Chevy uh, trucks is this right here, how the bumper is like a step. All right, we gave the key, now it's time to leave. They're also selling a 392 along with the Mustang. Has 29,000 miles, of 2018. So they've driven it a lot in one year. And an 18 GT. So what I want you guys to do now is make sure you go and subscribe to my new channel. Link in the description. I think by the time this video is posted, I should have a video up on that channel. Go subscribe. It's going to be epic content, I promise you guys. And now I think I'm going to just go home. I'll continue this video in the morning because it's getting dark and there isn't really much to do today. Alright. Round two. What is going on guys it is the next day and today we have a few things to do so yesterday I drained the tank of the red eye no more E85 in there because it's gonna sit during the winter because it's just pointless to drive it like I said so we covered it up drained the tank everything is good with that but now that we are done with all that we gotta go fix my mirror because a while ago I don't know if you guys remember I broke the mirror on the Mustang and we gotta go fix that also we are about to go meet up with my friend who just picked up a new scat pack and he's gonna go to get his exhaust done and I will be going with him so it's gonna be pretty interesting how that is gonna sound so we have a pretty busy day so let's turn the Mustang on and get going pulling up to the gas station he's right there and the sun right there it's red but I gotta get some E85 first alright here it is Cool. Alright, we're all done here. Alright. It's time to roll, baby. And he's coming with me. Finally made it. Hey, here it is. That was a long drive. All right, so we finally made it here. Got my car here, and then his. I'm gonna show you guys real quick the mirror that I told you guys is broken. Here it is. This happened a long time ago. I did make a video on it, so it happened a long time ago. I have no idea why I'm finally getting it done, but TJ ordered me a new mirror, and we're gonna install that. He said it literally take like two minutes. But while we are here, my boy right here, K, is gonna get his exhaust done. So a lot of people always ask me, what should I do to my exhaust? Well, I had a 392 about five years ago. When they first came out in 2015, I had a 392 shaker. And the first thing people usually do to an exhaust, they don't usually do a full exhaust. Not everybody can afford a full exhaust. So what you could do to make it sound really good is a mid muffler delete, which pretty much everyone does that. You could do that, you could do catless. But what we're doing today is a mid muffler delete. So I'm gonna have you guys hear it out while it's stock, and then we're gonna get it done, and then I'm gonna show you guys how it sounds afterward. So here is how it is when it's stocked. Now we're gonna pull it in and get the mid muffler delete done and then I'm gonna show you guys how it sounds afterwards. So we got my Mustang in here and now we're gonna do the mirror. So he's about to take it off and put a new one. The important part is don't put it down upside down. Yeah, we don't wanna put it upside down, that's very important. Oh, hey, we got a mirror. And it's, and it's the heated one. 
And I'm talking like what? Like the last one down there by where there you I go, see right there. I'm about to use There you go before I break it. All right, so now we just got to take this off at this point. Is that how they come out? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. And then that that's for like the heating, right? Yep. Heating element. While he's fixing that, we're getting the 392 in here. Uh, look how big this boat is, man. Oh my god. Yeah, idle's pretty good. Look how in the light it looks orange. And he also has the dynamic package which gives you the Hellcat wheels air brakes. Boom. We got that in there. Now let's go back to see what TJ's doing. So he's getting the new mirror in there. Got the words up. It's that simple. Huh? Alright, that's it. It's like that. Hey, I don't want this to fall while I'm driving on the highway. Why not? I mean, you know. <laughs> I don't mind it, but... Alright, we're good. We're good? Yep. Bam, guys. We this is, hey, this was broken for like seven months. And we finally got it done. <laughs> and now, we're gonna put this up in the air. Oh man, I know, I know. This thing is dirty, but it's okay. Hey, you need to get a car wash right after this. Just look how dirty this thing is. Well, I don't think this car has ever seen a car wash. I'm all the way up here, and we're talking K into doing this. So we were trying to take these tips off and putting five inch tips. I'm gonna go grab them real quick. These tips, which are gonna look so good on here. Dude, these are the one, you have to do these. These are so small. These will literally fill that entire hole. All this. Make it sound good? Nah, think. it'll look good. It'll just look good. The mid muffler delete will make it sound good, and then this will make it good. So basically, what's gonna happen now is we're gonna get rid of these mufflers and put new tips, and then we're gonna hear how it sounds. If it doesn't sound as loud as he wants it to sound, then we're gonna take the mid mufflers off as well. We also got a cop car in here. Look at this thing. Hmm. I've never seen a cop car up close. Look at this thing. I'm guessing this is the radar right here. You got the computer. Um, everything else is here. I think you can put your weapon right there. Let's go this way. This way. Hmm. Yeah, here it is. Bam! So we cut the other side as well. And here are what the tips are gonna look like. They literally fill that entire area. They're gonna look so sick. So now we're about to hear it. Let's get it. Take the mufflers off. Mid -mufflers too. Take the mid mufflers off too. It sounds a little bit beefier, but, but I think you want more. Just take the mid mufflers. So we just took these mufflers off and we kept the mids on there just because, oh, there we go here. Just because uh, we didn't know if, how it'll sound. So we're gonna take these off as well. Man, it looks so good. Look at it. Woo! That's gonna look good. As long as it's not upside down, PJ. <laughs> we can do that. Yeah, let's try it upside down. <laughs> that's what Do hey, that's what dies put the tips like that. <laughs> they put them upside down. <laughs> it is all done. Now we're gonna hear it start. Good. 
down. We're gonna get it out here. And uh, actually, he's gonna do something cool with this car, so just stay tuned. Keep watching. Let's rev it, TJ! Oh, this is gonna sound good. And the idol and everything, it looks so aggressive from the back. Oh Woo! Stock, stock mufflers and tips. Gone. All right guys, so what we're gonna do now is he's gonna bring his charger out. As you can see, we cleared the lot and he's about to start doing donuts in his car. He just got this car, so I think, I don't know how long he's had it, maybe like a week, if that. And now we got his exhaust set up and now he's gonna do some donuts for us. So I hope you guys are ready for it. So there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I feel like we did so much. We went checked on the C8. We started the red eye. We put the red eye away. We drained the E85 out of the red eye because we're gonna put it in storage until springtime because honestly, there's absolutely no reason for us to be driving or taking it anywhere with that much power and it's about to start snowing and uh, I love that car way too much to be driving it in the salty roads. And honestly, as much as I love this car, I don't love it as much as the red eyes, so that's why I've just been driving it and having fun with it whenever I could. But now I'm gonna let you guys go, so make sure you leave a thumbs up if you like the video. Make sure you subscribe, turn your notification bell on so you can stay updated with the videos. Make sure you subscribe to my new channel. First link in the description, click it. Subscribe, turn notifications because I got tons of videos on that channel and the videos are gonna be hilarious. So stay tuned for that, but now I'm gonna let you guys go. Stay safe, stay positive, and stay out the way. Peace out. Woo!